Hello, my name is Bukas Osnatek, and today I will try to answer the question how to access Android APIs from QML with no effort. Please type any questions into the chat box. We will try to answer them uh, after the presentation is done. First, let's review our current approach. Uh, then we'll try to answer what challenges are we currently facing. After that, uh, let's propose ideas uh, how we could improve the current workflow. And then we'll try to find a possible solution to the problems. Um, is our workflow optimal? Calling Java code from QML, you need to cross multiple boundaries. A lot of repeated code is needed for both QML to CPP and CPP to Java transitions. Can each developer specialize to code with Java, C, C++, and QML? Writing code in three languages requires switching between different tools. A lot of boiler code is required. Boilerplate code is error prone, and when dealing with multiple languages, it might be hard to debug. What will happen if we need to adjust the API to new requirements? Simple API changes require a lot of updates in different parts of code. Can we simplify the flow? Uh, how can we make the road shorter? How to allow developers to focus on using the skills best? Can we develop components independently? In Android, we can separate the code into a service, which will handle all the logic, and an activity part, which will implement the UI. Qt Interface Framework provides the architecture to separate the business and presentation parts of code, which is exactly what we need. But Qt Interface Framework by default uses remote objects, which require Qt to be used on both parts. Also, JNI is still needed to connect to Java code. Let's get back to Android then. The native interprocess communication method for Android is Binder. Code for both CPP and Java parts can be generated from AIDL files. Using QFace, we can generate the code responsible for C++ to QML integration and also the AIDL files itself. After that, AIDL can be used to generate both CPP and Java binder code. CMake integration is easy. We just need to import the AIDL QT module and invoke the code generation. Provided templates are used to generate the AIDL files from QFace. Also, in Gradle, we just need to import the plugin and set the QFace location. After that, all is left for us to do is to implement the generated interface in the service. Let's see how that works in practice. Let's start by adding a new method. We'll give it an int param. Now let's update the Android service. The build failed because the new method is not yet implemented. We can add it now. The, the method will simply log the received argument. Let's try rebuilding once again. After a successful build, we can start the service. Let's move to the cute part now. In the UI, we can simply call the new method from a button.
everything should be ready for testing now. When we press the white button, the message from the new method is logged. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for your time. The code is available at the link on screen. I hope you find it useful and maybe even contribute to its development. I'm happy to answer all the questions via chat or you can reach me through email.